In this video, we are going to discuss sequence output tracing. It is the most important topic from MBA points of view and bank point of view. Most of these students find difficulty while solving these type of questions because they are not able to analyze the pattern or don't know how to solve these type of questions. Let's discuss about sequence output tracing. In this question, we have four patterns like word in forward and reverse or reverse alphabetical order. Like we have 26 alphabet uh, from A to Z, uh, words are formed from alphabet. Like we are having some words like apple, boy, cow, dog. Then uh, there is a series like apple, boy, cow, dog. So in forward direction, forward alphabetical order we place it like apple, boy, cow, dog. But in reverse direction we place it as dog, cow, boy and apple. It is like a first pattern and in second pattern number in ascending and descending order. Like the num a greater number comes first and lesser number come later. Uh, in ascending order. In descending order, like uh, uh, in ascending order, number is increasingly uh, throughout increasingly uh, like small, bigger, 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 and biggest. And in descending, like uh, bigger, biggest, bigger, and so on. This is our second pattern. In third pattern, changing place of word or number according to the given pattern. Like uh, in this, you have. Uh, in this type of question, there is one input is given. On the basis of it, uh, there are four, two or four, maybe six, eight steps are given, and we have to analyze the pattern like words are coming first, or number are coming first, or they are. It's a combination of these two. You can say that these two. And in our last, writing a particular set of words in reverse order, like uh, the num word consists of five alphabets come first or word consists of four alphabet come later and in reverse order. So in this lecture we are going to discuss number in ascending or descending order and later on we are going to discuss other pattern also. Okay, uh, let's take an example to understand the different type of question which comes in sequence output tracing. Suppose there is an input. Uh, I am giving you a input. Uh, what it is? Uh, 85, 16, 36. It is an input given to us in a question and there are various steps are given uh, in which uh, sequencing is performed and we get the final output in various steps. Like we are having here uh, step 1 in this 97, 85, 16, 36. 97 is the biggest number so we place 97 in the first place and the remaining this is a vacant now this place is vacant so we shift all the number of, uh, in the sequence according same as it is in the first step. we place it we booked it at first place now we observe other numbers like 85 16 36, 04, 19, 63 and 09 means 9. Out of these we have to find the biggest number like it is 85. 
so we write it here as 97 85 we are having here as 85 in it is already placed in this uh, second position so we are now going to observe here other number in the series which is greater than greater in this number it is 63 so we are going to place 63 here and remaining number are going to fill accordingly like this first three places uh, are filled now let's come to step 3 if like in this case we place 97 in the first place and automatically out of these number uh, bigger out of these numbers the biggest number is automatically placed in second place then we can uh, skip one step so uh, like uh, that 85 can be written here automatically and we are going to search for other number in this sequence and after that write it like this now we are going to search the biggest number in this what 36 is the biggest number so we write it here as 97 85 63 36 and remaining number like this okay now come to step 4 like observe these are accordingly to the decreasing number so now we are going to observe the number in this 19 is the grade test in this 4 so we write it here as this uh, here 19 16 0 4 see look at this here 16 uh, in the next step after placing 19 here we are going to search the number greatest between 16 0 4 and 0 9 but 16 shift automatically in that place so we can skip that step and come to find the greatest between these two so we get 9 over here and our final output is 5 it's a pattern like decreasing number uh, input is given uh, when question will come in the exam uh, there is one input and you will get these type of sequence to analyze what kind of pattern it is like maybe it is decreasing or maybe it is increasing you have to look at the pattern and find out what the pattern is either maybe decreasing or maybe increasing and accordingly to that you have to find the questions given in the uh, sub parts questions given in the main questions like uh, I hope you understand this uh, sequence based on this like we are observing here it's a question given and accordingly to it I am going to give a question based on these sequences like I hope it's a decreasing pattern so based on it I am giving a numerical which comes in uh, means it is already mentioned in the question and based on it you will get main questions uh, or you have to find the answer of that questions ok this is a pattern uh, sorry I have to rub this so it is a type of pattern we are going to observe I am writing here an input so that you can correlate it with the previous thing so I am giving you a question like suppose my input is suppose like I already uh, told you the pattern about the pattern based on it I have to find the question like sequence is giving like 09 
this is the question actual question do uh, the previously which we discussed is the pattern how to observe the pattern like we observed it those sequence are in decreasing order so we have to find in this uh, like we have to find what is the what is the third step what is my third step okay it's my input let's write my first step is to find the biggest number in all these 9 25 16 30 32 18 17 30, 6 so in this biggest number is 32 so i place 32 here and write it write all the number accordingly to the given series i shifted 1 to 1 1 to 1 1 place further for in forward direction so i get this series like this it's my first step and next step is i book my first place like it's my book place now i'm going to search the biggest number in the remaining number so it is 30 here so i write it here as 30 to 30 and remaining number shifted forward one place forward oh it is 16 18 and 17 06 Now I book my two plays, and now I'm going to search for the third biggest number in this remaining number, and 25 come. So my step three is 32, 30, 25, 09, 16, 18, and 06. It's my third step, and it is my answer. so you can book it as your answer if i have to find the final output what the other steps are like step 4 i book my first three plays so now i'm going to search the biggest number in this so i got it 18 as the number so 32 30 25 18 09 16 17 and 06 it's my step 4 and i have to find the final output so step 4 step 5 is i already booked my first four places now i'm going to search the biggest number in this four 17 is the biggest so 32 30 25 17 18 17 09 16 06 and, and after that i'm going to search in these three And 16 is my 16 is my biggest number in this. So my step six is 32, 30, 25, 18, 17, 16, 0, 9, and 6. So I got my answer. Step six is my output. so you will get different type of question like uh, you have to find step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 like this but uh, you like in maybe they are going to ask you like step 4 step 3 step 4 accordingly you have to find, uh, observe the sequence and accordingly you have to find the answer like in this question firstly i ask you about the step 3 and after that i am was asked about the output so step 6 is my output in this question we discuss about the two parts step 3 and the output part i hope you will get what i am trying to teach you for other lectures subscribe our channel in the next in next upcoming lecture we are going to discuss the other pattern subscribe our channel for more updates